Greetings ladies and gentlemen, Jeremy Adrian here, welcome back to the channel. Hey you Lotro players, Lord of the Rings fans, Tolkien fans, some exciting news uh, coming out this month. A new game is coming to Steam, Steam Early Access on the 28th, and it has to do with the Lord of the Rings. Specifically, the Lord of the Rings Living Card Game. For those of you that have heard of this game, you probably have played the physical version by Fantasy Flight Games. The Steam version is going to be a digital version of that physical card game, and it's made in collaboration with Asmodee Digital. Now, for the benefit of new players that have never heard of the Living Card Game, I'm just going to show a little bit of details, an overview of what that game is all about. So here we have the physical copy of the core game, the Lord of the Rings Living Card Game. This is the core box set, the starter set, uh, and it's got decks in there for two players but you can buy more cards to make it up to four players if you wanted to and for players that have never played the card game before this isn't like a versus pvp style game it is a cooperative living card game set in the lord of the rings universe so what that means is that let's say two players are playing they get to build between two decks or pick the two starter decks in here with all your favorite Lord of the Rings heroes in them for example Aragorn's in here Gandalf and a, a bunch more and in your decks you know you've got your heroes you've got your tactic cards and all that good stuff the objective of the card game is to set out on scenarios or think of them as quests so in the base game there's going to be a bunch of scenarios in here quest that sends you out to do different things for the different heroes uh, from a story wise uh, or from a narrative perspective Gandalf would send you in a quest to go and scout somewhere and it's all related to the lore and the the danger here the objective is to progress those scenarios to win and what's stopping you is really the AI there's an inbuilt system here where players are going against the AI cards really so there's going to be a deck that you know whoever will just open up the next card and it's going to be danger or this going to pop out a lieutenant that you guys will have to fight and you know combat is determined by uh, the strength and your attack and defense of your hero characters like Aragorn and Eomir and whoever else is, you know is in your deck so all in all for new players that have never played the card game before this is an excellent game to play cooperatively back in the day I played this a ton with my real life friends that were in my kinship at the time and it was a ton of fun because when you, when you play with two, three, four players, it's all about communicating and deciding uh, you know, what you're going to do with the cards in your hand. And the differentiating factor between the decks are the spheres. So you can, you can build a deck based on leadership and tactics. Tactics, think of them as a DPS style deck and leadership is more of a sort of a buffing and support. And then you've got spirit and nature, which are like your healing style decks. So there's different ways to play. You can mix and match, you know, two different element spheres as well. So you can have one spirit and tactic deck. So you've got a bit of healing cards or damage dealing cards uh, for your heroes. And the great thing about the Lord of the Rings LCG, the physical copy here, is that if you don't have people to play with, you can play against uh, the AI scenario solo. You can play this by yourself. And I've done it many times over the years because, you know, as your friends grow up and go to university and go overseas to study, you don't really have friends to play board games or card games with anymore. So that's where I found myself in college. So I played with myself. Wait, I played by myself. And this game is fantastic for that. Now, LCG or living card game simply means that the the game universe, the card universe, always expands with new cards, new scenarios, and Fantasy Flight Games over the years has done a great job at introducing more packs. So, for example, later down the line, if you guys you know are wondering, yes, there will be expansion packs kind of like this one. This is the Kaza Doom expansion, which gives you uh, appropriately themed Moria style cards. So there's lots of doors for all the different spheres for for your decks. In addition to brand new scenario based on Moria. So this one is all about, I think Gandalf kind of sends you into Warren Balin, who, if you know your lore, is in there. And that's where he died in the movies. You see the, to the Tome of Balin. So this scenario, I think you, you, you guys go in there trying to warn him and all that stuff. So it's really, really fun. I do like the LCG a lot. I've played a shit ton of it. And if expansions was enough, they also, for the physical copy, release smaller packs like these. These are the cheapest of the lot, but they only come with one scenario, so that's one quest. 
and uh, a bunch of cards as well based on you know the theme of this particular pack so this one's Merkwood so there's gonna be a cycle like I think for six months they did entirely Moria so they'll release the expansion first the Moria expansion pack and then afterwards a bunch of other Moria themed mini packs like these so this one's the Merkwood one and you can get the Merkwood expansion as well and all in all you know these this is a pretty expensive little hobby if you like uh, to collect you know cards and all that stuff I'm a huge Tolkien nerd you guys know already know that so I have a bunch of these and I'm only holding the ones that I could fit right here in my small corner. So that's a quick introduction to the game for new players. It's a fantastic little game. It doesn't take a lot to set up because it's cards and it doesn't take a lot to run. If you're playing with four players in a cooperative scenario, you know, it can, it can go up to like an hour or two hours depending on the difficulty of the deck and everything. I'm not going to get into the rules or whatever because this is just a quick overview and a PSA. Um, but this is one of the best card games I've ever played. Uh, of course, it's Lord of the Rings themed, so I obviously like that. Now, for those of you that have played this card game in the past, you already have it, and you're wondering what this digital version, what the Steam version is going to be like. It is basically a digital adaptation. It's going to have a bunch of different things, like a fully redesigned UI, and there's also going to be a cash shop where you can, you know, individually buy cards or something like that. So on the 28th of August, the early access is not going to be free. To get into the early access, you have to buy one of three packs. I believe the Shire pack is the cheapest at seven USD, and then it goes on from there up to like 30 USD. That is where I have a few concerns about this game. While I am a big fan of the physical copy, you know, I've been debating with myself if I really want to buy an early access pack for the Steam version. I know it's a great game. Like I said, the cooperative nature of the Lord of the Rings Living World, uh, Living Card Game, is one of the best things about it because you have to interact and all that stuff. So I want to see what a digital version of this game uh, could mean. But for me, you know, I kind of do feel a little put off that, you know, having, and this is not just me, like other people, like my friends who play this as well, we've invested a lot of time and money on the physical card game like couldn't fantasy flight games you know give us something um additionally for those of us that own the physical copies or do we have to buy all these cards again i know there's going to be slight variations from the physical version to the digital version but that remains to be seen because no other information has come out about the digital cards and you know what that's going to entail but uh, the starter pack that you buy will come readily with decks that you can already start playing against the AI. Like I said, this is not a PvP style game. This is all about cooperative uh, nature and uh, going against the AI in these scenarios. Now, while I do say that the cooperative feature is one of the best parts about the game, the Steam version will not have co-op uh, mode until much later on in the year. So that means what you're going to be playing, if you guys are interested and are thinking about buying this on the 28th of August, is you will play the solo experience first. So that means you're, you're just going to go up solo against the AI and try and get the scenario or quest done. Cooperative mode will come much later on, so do keep that in mind if you guys plan to purchase this thinking that there's going to be co-op from day one. There is not. And just to give you guys some reference and some information, I'm going to post the official Fantasy Flight Games roadmap for the Lord of the Rings Living Card Game Steam version uh, in the description box below so you guys can see what exactly is coming. So all in all, if you're like me, you really want to soak yourself in everything Lord of the Rings, uh, like if you just can't get enough of Lotro or you, know, you want to play with your kinship in-game, you want to play a different Lord of the Rings game on some off nights or when you guys aren't doing anything, this is one of those games that is fantastic for that because you know it's pretty immersive as well some of the stuff you do like uh, in this Moria this this is Mirkwood pack here this quest I if I'm not mistaken is all about hunting Gollum or no not this one another one out there you hunt Gollum you go you join Aragorn in his quest to bring Gollum back to Gandalf you know to to get details out of him about the you know the one ring and everything so these are things that are kind of in the books but we get to explore it from a different perspective with your friends as well which is why I really really like it so final thoughts here if you have not played the Lord of the Rings living card game before and you're really interested to try this game out I would recommend that you actually play the physical version first because there's nothing that can beat a tabletop version of any game out there if it comes out digitally. That's just my opinion. And the fact that, you know, if you want to play this co-op with your, your friends or your kinship and you guys have access to each other in real life, this is one great game. Trust me on this. I had so much fun. 
Um, but if you don't have access to that and you'd rather play at the beginning solo and then later on with friends on Steam, then by all means, go ahead and spend that $7 for the cheapest pack to try out the early access. Uh, there's been some rumblings about the Steam version going free to play down the line and then monetizing different stuff like expansions and you know, other campaigns and stuff like that, like it has done for the physical copy. By all means, go ahead, check it out. If you want to support the game, go ahead. Additionally, there is another way to play this game online with your friends who are far away. Uh, you have to use like card game or board game emulators. The one that I used to use is called Octagon, O-C-T-G-N, I think it was, where you could download, you know, stuff and, like games, card games or whatever, uh, which had all the visual PNG versions of the cards and then you could put on a virtual board and play with your friends online. I'm not sure if that still exists, but there are, there are ways to play this game uh, online uh, like that. Unfortunately, I don't know if it's legal or not, but you are not supporting the developers of the games by doing it that way. So I again, I highly recommend checking out the, you know, go to your, go to a B&M, uh, a board game shop or whatever, play with a gaming group, just check it out, try it out first. Watch some YouTube videos of people playing it or, you know, stuff like that and then decide if it's worth for you if it's worth it for you. For me, I really enjoy this game. I'm probably going to buy it anyway just to play it on Steam with friends that I can no longer see on, you know, on a regular basis because we did have some great times. So, that's it for me. Just a quick PSA for you Lotro fans, Lord of the Ring fans. This is a living card game that is worth checking out because of you know the mechanics, um, you know how it's built, and the stories in this sometimes is really great. It's actually a narrative-driven card game. Those scenario cards has the story out there, and if somebody in your gaming group reads that out aloud, uh, especially when you're playing physically, it's it's great. It puts everybody um, you know in, in that atmosphere. The Steam version, I do hope they have voiceovers for that because that'll be pretty cool as well. So. Yeah, really excited about this, and uh, if you guys want to play it and check it out, go ahead. And just to give you guys an idea of how crazy I was about this game, I actually designed and printed my own character card, and this guy is my main character on Lotro, my captain. And I you know, took a screenshot, and I put him on the card, and I printed it out, and I gave him, obviously, OP, attack, and stats. In fact, all my kin, my, my kin mates that were playing this game, I did that for them. I asked him to take a screenshot of your main characters in Lotro, send them to me, and I'll you know create versions of the cards. So when we play, we wouldn't use Aragorn or Gimli or whatever. We'd use our own Lotro characters. That's pretty cool. So, uh, I mean, that's just a pro for the physical version. I'm sure you can't do that on Steam. So that's it for me, guys. Hit the like button for more on Lotro or MMORPGs. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to the channel for more MMO content. Once again, I'm Jerem Adrian, and I thank you for watching. Hey folks, welcome to the end screen. Thank you very much for watching that video. If you want to watch more, you can click on the cards at the bottom here and feel free to subscribe to the channel with the button down there, which will give you notifications on all my latest uploads. Later, Gator.